How now, brown cow? Unique New York. <laughs> and hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going over benches and beds. B -b -b Benny and the Jets. B -b -b benches and the beds. Benches and beds are important. It's how you gain your, your comfort, your solitude in the van. You want them to be built right. Let's start with benches. <laughs> wow, incredibly rude, excuse me. So this should come as no surprise, but you generally wanna use all of the space you can in your van, you know, cause there's not a lot of it. And benches are fantastic for that. As I started putting our benches together, I first planned on actually housing most of our electrical on one of the benches. But then after deciding to put the electrical in the garage of the van, I just kept the same amount of space, which created a lot of storage for us in these benches. As you'll quickly find out, our benches and bed work in congruency with each other. Our bed pulls out over top of our benches and rests on top of them. We found a few other designs and ended up tweaking them a little bit, but we really like how the layout of the van ended up. Some of what was not shown here was me cutting these down to the right size. You can Google search average size bench height and get a ton of results. Honestly, you just gotta do what works for your height, your layout of the van, and honestly, just your personal preference. Do what works for you. But if you want a good starting point, here's our bench dimensions. But I did want to stop and show you something that I added, which I think will be really nice. Because you have limited space, you don't want your electronics sprawled about when you're charging them. So I had this brilliant idea, keep the electronics in the bench while you charge them. But then the cord and getting that underneath the bench, uh, no need to fear, a notch in the bench is here. Oh, my jokes are getting worse and worse. But really we have an outlet right next to this so the cords can go through the notch and be charging our electronics in the bench. Kind of stupid, but also not stupid at all. Nah. All right, after our benches got painted up, it was time for the install. Something else I love about our benches is the placement of them. They were directly over top our wheel wells and we just added a little bit of extra Havelock wool that we had, which helped dampen the sound from the road. Okay. Benches are done. Something I would keep about the way we did our benches, so much storage. Some people would just do storage on the bottom. As you can see in this video, we did storage on the bottom and the backs. The back storage was an incredible place to keep things like tables or pillows or blankets. The thing I would change seems slightly hypocritical to say because I just said I would keep the amount of storage, but I'd want them to be like just about an inch and a half less in depth on each side, just so we'd have a little more leg room. That's the thing I'd change. All right, now to the second half of this video, how to build a bed. Blech. How to build a bed in a camper van. Blech. How to build a slide out bed in a camper van. Yeah, good enough. You can't really tell from how I'm sitting right here, but I'm a tall human, six foot four inches to be exact. Sleeping sideways was not really an option in the van. Usually I don't start with the finished product, but you kind of need to know how this bed works before we get into the build. So here's a little look at the mechanics of the bed. All right, so you generally get the point. Let's dive into it. So technically what I'm working with right here is the garage of our van. Our water setup is on the right side and our electrical system is on the left. And there are four areas with two by fours. Bink, bonk, bank, bear. I make my own sound effects. I notched out those two by fours. So the actual weight and pressure on the bed will go into the two by four and not the screws. It's just a little page out of my uh, high school physics class. Weight displacement. You then need to make or buy slats for the bed. I actually started off by purchasing pine one by four slats, which four inches was significantly too big. When you pulled the bed out, the gaps in between were too much. I ended up actually cutting my own slats out of a thick three-fourths piece of oak plywood. I created them about two inches wide. This took forever, but it ended up being stronger and obviously cheaper. So this part was slightly exhausting. I started by going through and using a nail gun first just to make sure they were in place and then follow back up with screws after I knew where they were supposed to be. And honestly, it looks like it's going pretty smooth right now, but this was about five minutes before I took this video. It was a lot of trial and error. So obviously you'll align your second grouping of slats 
This will be the one that is attached to the front of the bed and you're able to pull out over your benches. I didn't have a video of myself constructing these. I just have this uh, semi-provocative picture. So just ignore me in it. You can get a general idea of how the second grouping of slats works. After you finish up with that, you obviously need front and back faces to your bed. Later on, we added some handles right here, which makes it easier to pull out. And we also put some felt pads right here to make sure we didn't scratch the benches. And you can't forget the back of the bed. We made sure to put a face on that as well. This helps keep our pillows and mattress where they're supposed to be. Speaking of mattress, this is the mattress that we got and I cannot speak highly enough about it. Honestly, if you just want another mattress, this doesn't have to be for a camper van. This thing's fantastic. For real though, very comfortable and it doubles as a couch during the day. As so hopefully you can tell from our video though, we didn't do like one, two, I need another hand. We kind of did one of these situations like up, down, over, like a, you get the point. The last thing I would add here, and it is really how we closed off the garage under the bed. We made sure to add a vent for good airflow. And right next to that, we installed one of our 120 volt plugs. We wanted to have this nearby for charging electronics, more specifically our computer at night, you know, for movies, watching movies, movies in bed, bed movies. I like bed movies. The only thing you can't see from the video that is above the vent and 120 volt plug, we installed a small lagoon mount for our kitchen table. I'll throw that in the description below as well. Okay, what would we keep? What would we change? Keep our bed. We love our bed. Super comfy. Change and really no solution here. Making the bed in the morning because you can't really, you know, the whole fitted sheets thing doesn't work for this type of mattress. What we gained in space, we lost in bed making. All right, people, that's all I have for benches and beds. Don't skimp on these areas. They're so important in your van. We hope these videos are helpful. As always, all the products are down below and ways to contact and follow us as well. If you want more of this stuff, I think how YouTube works is you have to subscribe and then it puts it in an algorithm or there's a, how it works is the like similar videos and then you click like an alert with the with bell and see more of our videos. I'd be a terrible salesman. Just subscribe if you want to. I'm out. See ya.